A new research centre for the study of brain disorders has opened at the University of Edinburgh. The Patrick Wilde Centre for Research into Autism, Fragile X Syndrome and Intellectual Disabilities has been founded with support from a university graduate, Dr Alfred Wilde. He was moved to name it in memory of his brother Patrick, who was affected by autism. Led by Professor Peter Kind and Dr Andrew Stanfield, it will focus on understanding the causes of these conditions and on finding new, more effective medicines for patients. The overall aim of the new research centre is to try and improve the treatment and ultimately the lives of people with autism, fragile X syndrome and intellectual disability. But these conditions are much more common than people think. Autism itself affects about 1% of the population and intellectual disabilities on the whole actually affect about 3%. Of these, fragile X syndrome is the leading inherited cause of intellectual disabilities and of autism. The centre will be the first of its kind in the UK to bring together scientists and doctors to better understand the brain processes that cause these conditions. So for example with Fragile X we now know that there's a single, it's a single gene disorder. We can, we've made mouse models that lack that particular gene. We now know a lot about what goes wrong in the individual neurons. We can then hopefully devise theories on what we could do to reverse those defects. Um, and then develop drugs or therapies that could actually alleviate those effects or possibly even reverse them. The centre will offer a research-led clinic where patients from across the UK can come to participate in trials of new medicines. The reason why the field of Fragile X syndrome is so exciting is this is exactly where we are. And in fact, the centre is hoping to start um, clinical trials with our pharmaceutical partners in the near future to um, actually test some of the current theories out there. One of the reasons that Edinburgh University is so well poised to undertake this sort of research is that not only do we have the basic science expertise, but we also have highly advanced clinical research facilities which are embedded in a hospital setting and allow us to work in close collaboration with our NHS colleagues. For example, this scanner here will allow us to examine the structure and function of the brain of affected individuals in a level of detail that would not have been previously possible. And one of the exciting things about that is that that information can then be taken from here back into the laboratory and can help us to develop new treatments for these conditions. Ten years ago, if anybody had have told me that I would be involved in clinical trials or even a centre that I'm involved in would be involved in clinical trials for Fragile X Syndrome, I never would have believed them. But because of major advances in human genetics and genetic techniques in general, as well as a massive increase in our knowledge of how the brain develops, the, treating these neurodevelopmental disorders has become a real possibility. And I think there's a lot of real cautious optimism in the field that we may make a real difference in the relatively near future. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.